Yeah.
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this hammer. It's turned out beautiful. I'm very, very pleased. There are some errors. There are some issues that I still have. Um, I definitely want to make a, a small bolster for this, for rounding up those cheeks a little bit when uh, doing the forging process. And I would like to try and pull these cheeks out just a little bit more. Um, not much more. Uh, I also would like to make this slightly smaller. This is quite heavy. This is uh, 1.5 kilos or uh, three, uh, three pounds and five ounces. Uh, so it is a weighty little girl. Okay, working through the process of putting those troughs in first, then squashing the cheeks in ever so slightly, then punching the eye, meant that I protected uh, the eye from any damage the entire way through, uh, which is, you see a lot of people make hammers where they pinch the eye um, or they mess the troughs up because they've been, you know, they, people say it's the tongs that are doing the damage, but it's not, it's because they're overforging. Uh, the troughs, they're forging too close to the um, the eye and this way of doing it means that you've already got the troughs in so when you punch your hole for the eye it pushes the eye into the troughs and therefore there's no chance of you squashing it or that there is very little chance of you squashing it. It was also a little bit quicker than my normal process, uh, there's less to do because you just pop the troughs in, you, punch, uh, you squish it down, you punch the hole and there's very little uh, drawing out of the cheeks. We did very little work on the cheeks in order to get them looking tidy. Uh, and then once you've got the troughs in, you don't have to put them in afterwards. Um, so there's no messing around, making sure everything's okay. And it's just a nice tidy process basically. So um, it is a really slick, nice way of making a hammer. I've stepped it up a bit, tried something new. I make hammers all the time. Uh, the slightly different pr way of doing it. So this face is slightly further in with the long elongated ball pane, the big fat cheeks slope in. I like that style a lot. This, I like this style also. Uh, I'm gonna try a few other projects where we try some cat faces or cat's heads um, and also a striking hammer as well I'd like to try. Um, I might even try some closed die forging with this by actually making the dies so we can stick them under the massy and use the drop forge function to create some interesting shaped hammers indeed. Um, all exciting stuff, all about learning. Um, I didn't know if this was gonna work. I've already tried it once before. It worked quite well with that process. I tried it again, it failed, and then another one failed. There were smaller hammers though. But this one seems to have worked quite nicely. I'm very pleased with the outcomes. The hammer looks really tidy, and uh, it's just all round really happy. So, uh, if you'd like to get your hands on this hammer or any other tooling that you might think you need, uh, you can check that out on the Etsy. Um, I um, will leave a link in the description below uh, for you to go and check that out. Um, also a link down there to my Instagram. Uh, go and check that out because um, you'll be able to see updates. Um, this was part of a story. I made this and was showing each step in part of a story. It's a great way for me to give uh, you guys and girls at home a little bit of extra content. Also a big thank you for Ella uh, for letting me use her workshop. The woodworking shop at the end of our garden is the one which you saw me making the handle, fitting the handle at least. Anyway, these uh, hickory, pre-bought hickory handles just slide straight in when you get those hammer eyes right. They're really lovely. Uh, so if you're keen to find out more about Ella, her link is in the description below as well. Go and check out her Instagram. She's also got some stuff up at the Etsy, some of her crazy colorful chopping boards for you to go and check out. I think they're walnut ones. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like. Um, and if you're really keen on supporting the channel, why not subscribe? Uh, if you are a subscriber also, please remember to ring that bell for notifications. It will tell you when I make videos if you set the notifications to do that. Uh, chuck a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this old girl. I'm really, really happy with the outcomes. Like I said, lots to do. Um, yeah, and again, if you wanna find this and very many other tools, Go and check out my Etsy. There's lots of lovely things on the Etsy for you at home to get your hands on. If you want to, again, support the channel, there's t-shirts and hats up there. If you want to get your hands on those, trust me, I'm a blacksmith t-shirts with the Massey power hammer on the side um, and the baseball caps with the power hammer as well. So if you want to help support, that's a great way. That's everything. Thank you for joining me. I'll leave a link up here to me making a fat boy. I'll leave another link down here to me making um, a hacksaw. This is uh, another video of something or other. And down here is the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.